Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this 3D winter landscape that you see here. We are going to learn how to add our very own 3D models, how to create our own 3D environments and add cool effects like snow and good music to our project. So before we start, let's see what the final output is going to be like. I just have the final project opened up in a new tab. So let me just shift to that. And here you can see if I just play the project. So I have good music playing around and I can, you see, walk around the scene, move around using the arrow buttons on my keyboard. And there's the snow falling around with this good fog in the background and the sky looks really good with this good Christmassy village all around me. How cool does this look? So let's start building this. So first of all, what we need to do is we are going to go to this website, kids.hatchxr.com. And once you're on the website, you're going to click on this new project button. Let me just full screen the window. So once you click on the new project button, it opens up a template page. From here, you can choose a starting template to build your game. So I just want to build everything by myself. So I'm going to use this empty project option here. So I'm just going to click on the plus sign here. And you can notice that a blank 3D project has been opened up. So now by default, you will notice we are in the code window. We are not going to be doing any coding for our project this time. We are going to be designing our project and we are going to understand the design window of the Hatch workspace. So let's go to our design tab. We can do that by clicking on the design button here. Okay, so you can see we are in the design tab and by default we have this box sphere and cylinder in our space. So we don't need all of these objects. So what I'm going to do is just select the object and press the delete button on your keyboard and these objects are going to get deleted. So now I'm left with my player, a light and a ground. Let's start by modifying the properties of this ground to make it look like a snow filled mountain. How do we do that? So select your ground object and on the right hand side, you can see the properties of your ground. So let's modify it. First of all, let's increase the size of our ground right now it's 100 units in width and depth so i'm just going to mod change it to 200 to make the ground a bit bigger and now that i've done that let's add some hills to our ground so i don't want the ground to be flat i want the ground to have some hills and you can increase the height of those hills using this height property and now my ground is a very solid color here. I don't want that. So we can change the texture of the ground by selecting this texture property. So I'm going to select the Walker noise property here. What that does is it uses two colors and mixes them randomly on the ground. So it looks like this. Now what we can do is we can use these two colors and change them one to a dark gray and one to a light white and that will make it look like it's a snow filled hill area yeah so this looks good now i don't want the ground to be smooth so i'm going to remove this smooth checkbox and it gives my ground a bit of a rough texture now i don't want this white grid to be on the ground so i'm going to select none in my grids property and let's have some stone spread over our ground so we can use the dressings property and add some objects to spread all over our ground so i'm going to select stones from here and we can modify the properties of these stones so right now we just have 10 stones let's make it around 600 700 that looks good and we can have the color of our stone to be a bit gray just like the ones we have for our ground this looks good so we can change the scale of the size of the stones so scale controls the size let's make it three and that would be better yeah that looks good so i have good number of stones the colors look good 
Now let's add some sky. Let's add a sky to our project because this ground looks very much empty. So how do I add a sky? We are going to use this add 3D objects button here. This plus sign that you see at the bottom right corner of your screen. Just click on this and it will pop up a window that gives you the option to add different types of 3D objects. So you can add simple 3D objects, complex 3D models, and you can add your own environmental components. So we are going to use this environment category. And here it gives you the option to create your own environment using the components provided here. So we are going to use these. We are going to add a sky and we are going to add a snow. Just click on the plus sign and these object gets added to your scene. So you see now that the moment an object is added to your scene, its name appears on the right hand side panel. So now you see sky and snow added. Let's go back to our scene and let's modify the properties of our sky. The sky you see it has a pink and blue color. I don't like that. I want it to have a natural blue and white color. So let's go to the properties of our sky and you see it has three colors right now, a three color gradient effect. So let's change that to two color gradient. That looks much better, but let's have it the natural blue color of our sky on the top and the bottom, the horizon to be a bit white or gray. That looks much better, doesn't it? Let's go to the play tab and see how does our project look. So you can see I have this good snow falling around, the sky looks natural and this landscape looks really good. Let's go back to the design tab and now let's add some 3D models. Let's add a Christmas village and some snowman. So I'm back in the design tab and now let's add some 3D models. How do we do that? We click on this add 3D objects button again. And here this time we are going to use this 3D models category. So we are going to use this poly and sketchfab category. Using poly you can add simple 3D models and using sketchfab you can add a bit more complex 3D models. So let's say I want to add a Christmas 3D village. So what I can do is I can just select Sketchfab here and search Christmas. And this will give you lots of good Christmas related 3D models. Now if you scroll down, there is this good 3D model of Christmas Island. You can just click on the plus sign and the object will load and then it will get added to your scene. Now you see the moment a model is added to your scene, its name appears on the left hand side panel. This is how you know that the object has been added. So now what I can do is I can change the position and size of this object to fit our scene. So select your model and let's first of all position the object let's say at 0, 0 and 0. And now what I would like to do is I would like to increase the size of this object. So how do I increase the size of an object? For that, in the basics property, there is a property called scale. You can select the scale property and change the values, this one, one and one. So one means the object is of its original size. Let's say I want the object to be 10 times its or original size. So we can just type 10, 10 and 10. And this will make the object 10 times its original size. This still looks a bit small. Let's make it 50. So 50, 50 and 50. And this looks much better. This looks like a good village that can fit with our ground landscape. So I'm just going to move this object a bit lower into the ground so that the houses and trees can merge with the ground. Yeah, that looks much better. So now I have this 3D landscape with this Christmas tree and this village here. This looks good. Now let's also add a snowman, okay? So how do I do that? Again, I go to this add 3D objects button. And this time, earlier we used a sketchfab property. This time let's use the poly category. And here I'm just going to search for snowman. So on poly, you can search for simple 3D models. So you see, now I have lots of good 3D models for snowman. What I can do is I can just add any one of these. I'm going to add this one. So just click on the plus sign. And you will notice the object gets added. You see its name appears here. That means my object is added. So now I can just use these red, green and blue arrows to move my object and position it 
on the ground yeah so let's position it on the ground this looks good i think it's a bit above in the air so we can just yeah that looks much better but now i also want the snowman to be looking a bit tilted on this side so we need to we need to change the rotation of our object how do we do that we can select this rotate option here so by default you see we have three buttons here translate rotate and scale so uh, by default you have translate button selected that is why you can move the object around if you select the rotate property then you see those three arrows change to three circles and using these three circles you can change the orientation of your object and you can change the size of your object by using the scale property here and making them a bit bigger a bit smaller however you want so now i have added the snowman i have added this vill village here and i have added this good ground and sky and snow let's go to the play tab and see how it looks okay so now you see i can't see anything here why is that let's go to the design tab and understand what's happening all right so let's see on the left hand side there is an object called player player is basically you in the game where you are going to be player notifies in the scene where you are standing and you see player has an object called camera camera acts as your eyes in the game so what we are going to do is you see the player right now is positioned inside this christmas tree this big christmas tree here that is why you were not able to see anything in the game so what we can do is we can just move it outside of the tree and now my player will be able to see everything also let's now that we are at the player let's modify the player properties a bit so when you select player look at the player properties here it has a property called player motion now you will notice there is a property called collide with surface what does this do when you select this property it will help your player walk more naturally over the ground and collide with the stones and collide with the tree with the gifts and everything so we have selected collide with surface now since we want the player to be able to walk around on this ground and we added hills on our ground we also need to enable this hill climbing property so that my player is able to walk over this ground in a smooth fashion in a more natural fashion so now that now that we have done that let's also add a character to represent our player to represent ourselves in the game so how can we do that we are going to go to this add 3d objects and we are going to add a player avatar so click on this player avatar category and you will notice it gives you some options to add a player avatar so i'm just going to add a minecraft character let's click on the plus sign and you see a minecraft character has been added and it has been positioned exactly where the player was but this time you see it's also overlapping with our camera so let's move the camera a bit behind the avatar so select your camera and move the camera a bit behind the avatar and just a bit above that looks good enough all right so now that we have done this let's go to our play tab and see how it looks awesome so you can see i have this cool looking snow falling on us and there is this player avatar this minecraft character that i can control using the arrow keys on my keyboard and the scene looks pretty good all right so let's just add a few small modifications like adding a snow so adding a fog and adding a bit of light and music to our game and then we will publish our game so we have reached the end of the video almost let's go back to our design tab and now first of all let's add a fog why do we want to add a fog well because you see where the sky meets the ground there is a very sharp edge and this edge is prominently visible we don't want that to happen so we are going to add a fog in this environment here to merge the sky with the ground so what we are going to do is we are going to select the bottom color of our sky select the sky copy this bottom color and now to add fog you can just click on the fx button here click on this fx button and it opens up the window from which you can add fog to your game so just select this check mark check box here and your fog will be added 
here you can control the properties of your fog so right now i'm just going to paste the bottom color of my sky and i will discuss the different types of fogs that we can add in a separate video right now i just want an exponential fog with a density of 0.02 and that will look good i'm just going to save and exit from this window and you can see how cool does that make my project look yeah so this is cool so i've added fog i have added everything in my game let's just add uh, things are a bit darker so let's add a light so i'm just going to go to this add 3d objects and here you have a category of objects called lights click on this and select the ambient light property again i'm going to cover all these different types of lights in a separate video so for now just add an ambient light ambient light acts like a sun it adds a brightness to every object in our game now we can reduce the amount of brightness by changing this intensity property so let's just make it 0 0.25 and that looks much better so everything is a bit brighter but not too bright this looks good now one last thing we have to do is let's add some music so how do i make my how do i add music to our game we can just click on this plus sign again and this time we are going to use this multimedia category so click on this multimedia button and you will get the option to add images and sounds to our game so by default we provide you with some sounds so you have a christmas carol music somewhere here what you can do is you can just search for let's say jingle bells so i search for jingle bells and you see there is a music here you can just simply click on the plus sign and the music has been added to your game so you see the name has appeared that means the object has been added now we can modify the sound properties again to make it work the way we want so we want the sound to play automatically whenever anybody opens up our project so we want it to auto play we want the volume to be a bit higher and we want the sound to loop continuously so once it finishes it can start again other than this there is a property called positional so what happens is in the real world whenever you are close to a source of sound the sound is louder to you yeah but if you walk farther away from the sound the volume of the sound becomes lower so that is what this positional property does but right now what i want is a simple sound playing all over the scene no matter where we stand with a constant volume i want the volume to be constant so i can just deselect this positional property and now let's just go to our play tab and see how our game looks like awesome so you see i have this cool snow falling around and i have my player character the snow is there the snowman is there there's this fog that gives a really good look to our environment and if i unmute my project you can see i have really good music so now i can just walk around my scene and interact with the environment and interact with my snowman here hi snowman it looks in general like a really good happy scene right so we are done with today's project i hope you guys have learned something about the design window of the hatch workspace and in future videos we are going to cover more properties more aspects of the design window uh, one thing that's remaining is how do we publish our projects so that i can share it with our fam with my family and friends so it's easy you can just give your project a name here give it a name like merry christmas and you can just click on publish and it will publish your project now once a project is published you will get this dialog box here with this qr code and the link of your project so you can copy paste this link and share it with your friends and family over whatsapp facebook twitter through email or however you want or you can also share this qr code and anybody can scan this qr code using their mobile devices using their phones laptops anything and run the project on whatever device they want all right so we are done with this video and see you guys in the next one